Hello and welcome to another episode of the Classical Republican. Today we are talking about the first Hellenic Republic. That's from 1822 to 1832. Now, here's a map of it. Uh, the capital was in Nathplia, and uh, so it was. Um, uh, the revolution began in 1821 here on the Peloponnese and then uh, spread further up north uh, and into the islands um, for the first part of their uh, revolution. Now, we're going to be talking about their government, and that begins with, with these provisional uh, assemblies, there were regional assemblies, and it was very disorganized um, for the first several years. Uh, in 1822, you have the first National Assembly um, of, of Epidaurus, uh, and then um, you, you have these every year until the third one in 1827. Uh, they select Yanis Capodistrius um, as the governor, the Kivernio, uh, that's the title uh, for governor. And so he wanted a strong central authority and did not think that the, uh, that representative government was a good thing for Greece at this point. So he actually persuaded the assembly to give power to a 27 member Panhelion, Pan, um, yeah, Panhelion, uh, Panhellenian, uh, and it was a uh, and they were all appointed by him, by Capodistrius. And so, uh, yeah, he was a little bit authoritarian, and uh, he was not very um, well. You know, he wasn't exactly a, um, a George Washington, although he is kind of. I mean, whoever was, a, a, you know, a George Washington, but yeah, he's kind of the George Washington of, of Greece. Um. But things were so much a mess that eventually he uh, was assassinated and uh, there was another leader after him. But then the imperial powers, uh, the Western imperial powers decided that Greece needed a king to bring order to their country. And um, yeah, I mean, things were a mess, but I don't agree that there should have been a king. Um, you know, even Capodistrius, uh, you know, was kind of acting like a dictator at times, and perhaps they, they did need that. Um, but anyway, uh, as far as the classical Republican analysis, <clears throat> there's not much, but there are some interesting historical connections here uh, going to Venice. Uh, because Capodistrius was from a, well, he was uh, uh, born and raised um, in a family uh, on Corfu, and he's a very pro-Venetian family, and so he was old enough to remember Venetian politics in action, and then the attempts by his people to replicate the form, that form of government, after the fall of Venice uh, in the um, in the uh, um, sept, uh, septennial republic, and then um, and then later on, uh, the capital uh, of Greece. Now he comes over to help the Greeks um, because in the uh, septennial republic they have they seem to have their act together, um, and he selects or well they select uh, Napoleon. Uh, for the uh, for the capital, and that was actually a Venetian administrative center uh, when the Venetians ruled uh, the Peloponnese. So they they ruled the Peloponnese twice, and so had some had some uh, government infrastructure still there, even though they hadn't ruled since the early 1700s. Yeah, the early 1700s, and so. This was in the 1820s. So the first Greek Republic lasted uh, 10 years and a little more maybe. 
And with such a mess, they uh, were forced to uh, have a king. And then they, um, and then we'll get to the, uh, the Second Republic in the uh, early 20th century. So as far as that goes, long live the Republic. <laughs>